Hey, what's up, y'all? Thanks for stopping by Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and I have with me... Hey, guess who's back? Old it's Al. Double A in the That's house. That's right. Hey, we got something special for you today, and uh, we're we looking... We do for, have that. We do. We, yeah. We're going to be right back. All right. All right, so uh, hey, thanks for sticking around. So today we're gonna review a little bit of uh, early times. Boom. Boom. My buddy Al brought this bottle over. I ran through mine within a couple of weeks because it was really, really good. It's a dandy. It's a, it's a dandy, right? Yeah. It's a bottled and bond good. for 19 bucks. That's pretty good. It's solid. Uh, but once I got to researching this bottle a little bit, I found out you know, that this was made previously by Brown Foreman. Uh, this one, right here is made by Sazerac. Sazerac. That's right. And there's apparently a pretty big difference. So that's what we're going to do today is compare the difference and see which one we like better. Hey, let's, uh, anytime we can compare, let's compare. Uh, what was it? Uh, 2021? 2020? Know, something years, like that. Yes. Uh, we'll that, they, that they sold out. Oh, when they sold out? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think, that's what I'm I think 2020. About. Yeah. I think 2020. So, so uh, not, not in that sense that they sold out, but they... It, Change ownership. Sold it. Yep. Yeah, and and you know apparently the the whiskey is completely different than what it used to be. Uh, a couple friends of ours from the Central Arkansas Bourbon and Banter Group were kind enough to exchange with us some samples. Good job, Central Arkansas. That's right. Always coming through strong. So uh, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. So uh, this pour that we have right here is this the Sazer is. Yeah. Is the Sazerac yeah. version of early times, there right? Go. That's good. That's good. Not a whole lot to talk about on this one. Let's just go to the nose and well, see what we get. Well, I mean, I'd go to the palate. But, no, you know, we okay. got to give the viewers what they want. Oh, okay. Our tens of viewers. Yeah. I'm picking up some uh, leather and some peanuts and maybe a little bit of tobacco, but it's real light. It's, it's, it's barely there, really. Yeah, there's not. There's... The nose is a little kind of not much to it. Kind of weak. Yeah. To be honest with you. It's a good amber color, like dark amber. Oh, it's a dark color. Mm -hmm. So this is a bottled and bond product, of course. It doesn't have an overpowering uh it's it's balanced alcohol no. flavor to it or, mm -hmm. or, or smell. <clears throat> it it's it's pretty balanced. It's it's pretty tame to be honest with you yeah it really is I, I would think that it would it would have a little bit more to it i'm not I, I mean i don't pick up a whole lot that's what i mean by that. i don't either yeah i mean there's not one thing that really just stands out and makes it uh, amazing but it's at a price point of about 19 dollars. but it's a, yeah i mean it's a it's a good price point. Yeah. let's go to the palette and see what we got kind of flat the palette the palette's where it picks up a little bit more for me it's a little it's a little pungent starting off. A little bit. But but once again, I think that that's something that, that it, it depends on the individual. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I pick up some um, strong oak and some strong cinnamon and baking spices, uh, oak spices. Uh, there's some sweetness on the back end. But it's got it, a lot of char. <clears throat> a lot of char I, on it. I feel like, it, I mean, it's got a lot of char in there. Yeah. That it, it picks up a lot of burn. There, See, I don't a, have a lot of burn. I, I've, Do you? I've you got a hug? lot of burn. Do you? I've got a lot of burn. Now, I don't have a lot of burn in the chest. I've got a lot of burn on the palate. That's that's just me. A little now, bit. I mean, it's it's noticeable. Now, I think I, I think any any individual that comes in, if they wanted to, if they wanted to tame that down, they could take a little sip of water. Yeah. Hold the water in their mouth, then take a little sip, mm -hmm. and I think that would. I bet that would change it a little yeah. bit. Yeah, or drop I water I would almost in the be willing to bet. A, a, yeah, be willing to bet a, a couple of drops of water would mm -hmm. would really help this out. So mm -hmm. this is 100 proof bottled and bond. It is what it is. I mean, it, it's a it it's a good bourbon. It has a good flavor. 
It's got a good taste. It's, I mean. And we're still talking $20. We do need to rate this whiskey. Um, but before we do that, I kind of want to go to the sample that we got of the uh, brown. No, we could do that. Of the brown foreman. We can do that. Uh, Let me take a, I mean, I'm going to. Leave a little bit to I'm compare. I'm going to go ahead and. No, do what you want. But I'm going to leave a little bit to compare. So this is the brown foreman, the original early times, right? And if we look at the color, I don't know that I can tell a difference at all. I couldn't tell a difference. Right. So. That's just me. The I mean, nose is different. Oh, wow. This is a lot more full, a lot more bold, rich, um, kind of rich flavor. That is a lot different. Tobacco, honey. That's a lot different. Much better. There is not. <laughs> it's, it's not even close on the, the nose. The, the alcohol. That's good. The, the alcohol, I, I guess, smell doesn't come through near as much. Yeah, the ethanol is is non-existent. I mean that that's that's much sweeter. <clears throat> it, it's it, it's I mean that that is totally different. It's almost like a pipe tobacco smell to me. Yeah, there's no way that that's I mean that you can tell that's not the same at all. It's not the same. Let's go to the palate. Mm. Oh my god. Night and day. That is delicious. Yeah. Night and day is for sure the There is. I mean, that, that's 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 waking up at midnight. This is waking up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> the toffee. Like, there's a lot of toffee for me. Oh, yeah. There's there's some chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, I mean, this is like a dessert. That, that is. The brown foreman. That's weird. Same mash bill. I would not have expected. I, I wouldn't have expected that. When you told me that. We had a treat. We had the original. I, I really didn't think that there was going to be that big of a difference. I know. But, I know. I've always heard. But I've never experienced. Big time. So. Um, and can, can I throw this shit away? No. Oh, okay. No. I no. mean, I'm going to drink it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to alcohol not a, abuse. Look, the new early times. But. It's not, it's not a drain pour. Right? I mean, it's. It, in, in comparison. In comparison, it is. It is just, just don't go. Look, just don't go looking for the old shit. In comparison, <laughs> it is. I know. I know. This, this is. It's not. That's. No, that's not the same. Oh, it is not the same. What did they do? I don't know. Magic. Sazerac. What did y'all do? <laughs> there's, there's not a comparison. There's not. Let's go to the early times and rate this one, the one that you can find right now um, at any local liquor store. I'm sorry, Sazerac. I apologize. And, and, and we use the criteria of uh, availability, taste, and value. I, I'm sorry. I mean, look, when I go to the first one, when I go to the Sazerac version of early times, I get a flat nose. There's a lot of sweetness on the front end. Uh, but I that get not, a lot of ethanol. See, I don't get that at all. But oh, I get you know, a lot of alcohol. I get some sorry. brown sugar and some toasted flavors like toasted bread. Uh, some buttery flavors, but it's it's all blended and nothing really sticks out, right? So it's really just kind of flat. Uh, I would almost <laughs> I would almost call it one dimensional, but not in a bad way. Like you know, if this is my daily sipper, I'm fine with it. Um, you know, and you kind of mentioned that you get a lot of ethanol. So when we go to the availability of this one, I mean, uh, the liquor stores around here in Central Arkansas. You know, it's hit or miss. Um, right now, one of them in West Little Rock seems to have a overabundance of supply of this one. Man, I would say I'm probably... At one to ten. One to ten. I'm not going to go any higher than a five. Okay. And That's I would fair. even say I would even go probably about four and a half. Okay. So that's on the four and a half. On the, four uh, and a half. Four and a half I'm, on I'm early times half. Sazerac. I'm four and a half. I would go with I would go with six. Uh, I like it a little bit more than what you do. Uh, apparently, you do. I do. I do. Um, so let's go to the uh, the Brown Foreman, the original early times. Oh my gosh! Jesus, so good. caramel and honey, tobacco. <laughs> I mean, there is so much going on in this one. And, and hey, uh, thank you to Alex Calling and uh, Steve Crow. You both gave me samples hey. of this one. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, that's part of, they're part of the Arkansas Whoa. Bourbon and Banter Facebook group that we have going on. My gosh. Man, that's, that's a complex whiskey. That is good. I'm going go to the palate on this one. Yeah. Just like I said earlier, um, great mouthfeel. The viscosity, <laughs> the viscosity is there. Shut up. Viscosity is there. I don't know if you can see the teardrops running down there. Did you just snort? I, I know our buddies on our, just, especially our text group, are really gonna light our asses up on that one. I know. Said, mouthfeel. I know. And then you just said it light our asses up. Huh. I know. Saying. This is just getting worse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's We've a lot going a on. on there's a lot. Go yeah. Yeah. There's a lot going on on that one. Um, like buttery toast is another one that's, with some cinnamon on top and uh, there's even some syrup component i mean dude there is all kinds of stuff going that on in whiskey good. it is really freaking good um for me uh, the available so i come out kind of about a six and a half on this one because the availability is just not made anymore right i mean this is you're they're not making you'd any have more to of this really do some searching yeah you'd have to find apparently yeah you'd, you'd have to find people to, and that, hey have, if y'all want to send more samples then i mean <laughs> My gosh. Steve, Alex, have at it, brother. Whoa. I know. Uh, so, you know, the availability is just not there. The value on Man. this one, you know, it's not sold anymore. So that kind of goes with the availability. Mm. It kind of just all ties in together. And I can't give it a great score because of that. But if we're taking taste and nose against each other, there's no comparison. There's no comparison, right? None. So I still think with an aggregate score, I still think I need to be at a seven. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now that's pretty high. That's pretty high. Com you know, just simply because, just because you can't, you can't get, get it. Because yeah. you can't get it. That's right. Because I was I, I was gonna go mm. I was gonna go in the in the sixes. Yeah. I was gonna go around six and I'll say an even six. Yeah. Just simply because you can't get it. But I mean yeah. if I was gonna go on taste and smell, oh my gosh, that is so good. Our tens and tens of viewers. Thank yeah. you for sticking around. Yeah, thank you. We hey, appreciate I'm you. I'm Justin with Cask and Q. I'm Al. And we'll see you next time.